And now it's time for Who Said It? America's $16.4 trillion game show that you can play at home because, heck, you're paying for it. Let's get started. In 2006, the year Talladega Nights and Cars raced in the theaters, this senior senator justified his vote against raising the debt ceiling by saying this. Given the explosion of debt in recent years, it is long past time for Washington to change the course and adopt a new fiscal policy. After all, the future of our economy and our nation is at stake. Under the circumstances, any credible economist will tell you we should be reducing debt, not increasing it. Who said it? That would be Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. At the time, well, <laughs> our debt was only half of what it is today. All right, let's do one more. This former senator justified his vote against raising the debt ceiling in 2006 by saying, Increasing America's debt weakens us domestically and internationally. Leadership means that the buck stops here. Instead, Washington is shifting the burden of bad choices today onto the backs of our children and grandchildren. America has a debt problem and a failure of leadership. Americans deserve better. I therefore intend to oppose the effort to increase America's debt limit. That former senator is now our president. And during President Obama's first term in office alone, the national debt has ballooned from 10.6 trillion to 16.4 trillion. It's a sad state of affairs. Uh, we just voted to increase the debt limit. The U.S. total debt at this point exceeds eight trillion dollars. That's eight trillion with a T. Uh, so uh, we've got to get our fiscal house in order here in Washington. I'm not sure it's going to happen uh, under the current leadership in Congress. The truth is, our national debt is not a joke. In fact, America's top military officer once called the national debt the greatest threat facing our country. The Obama debt depression will make Greece's spending fueled collapse look like child's play. Right now, the federal government spends more than $120,000 every second. In the time it's taken you to watch this video, your federal government has spent nearly $20 million. It's not a game at all. It's a sad state of affairs. I like what then Senator Obama had to say. The United States total debt at this point exceeds 16 trillion. That's 16 trillion with a T. So we've got to get our fiscal house in order here in Washington. But I'm not sure it's going to happen under the current leadership in the White House. If only President Obama would listen to then Senator Obama, then maybe we could get something done. First, the Senate needs to follow the House's lead and pass a budget. They haven't passed one in nearly four years. And if they don't pass a budget, they shouldn't get paid. It's simple. No budget, no pay.